Hi there, I'm Ms. Caruza, and today I'm going to be teaching you a tutorial on how to use the quadratic formula so that you can solve quadratic equations like it says in Standard 20.0. So our question is, what are the solutions to the equation 2x squared plus 7x minus 3 equals 0? So we're going to use the quadratic formula to help us solve this. We're going to find the two roots of this equation. So we'll start by, hopefully you remember, the standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay, so we're going to pick out the a, the b, and the c from our given equation. So the a is the term that's in front of the x squared, which would be 2. So we're going to label a is 2. The b term is in front of the x by itself, so that would be a positive 7. So we're going to write b equals 7. And the last term is the one all by itself, but before the equal sign, so that would be a negative 3. Don't forget to include that negative with the 3. Okay, and of course, since we're using the quadratic formula, we have to write out our quadratic formula. And I like to say it to the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel. Helps me remember x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to use the quadratic formula. We're going to plug in the values. So every time we see an a, we're going to write the number 2 because a equals 2. Every time we see a b, we're going to write the number 7 because b is 7. And when we see a c, we're going to write a negative 3 because that's what c is equal to. So I start by plugging in my values. I have x equals negative, and instead of a b, I write 7. Every time you plug in a number in place of a variable, you want to use parentheses. Now I have plus or minus the square root. Instead of a b, I write, again, a 7 squared minus 4 Instead of the a, I write 2, and instead of the b, I write negative 3, all over 2 times, and instead of a, I write a 2. Remember that when numbers are next to letters, it means to multiply. Okay, so next I'm going to make sure and get rid of my uh, parentheses throughout the, hopefully, the whole equation. So let's start. x equals the opposite of 7, or the negative of 7, is negative 7, plus or minus the square root. Okay, and 7 to the second power, 7 squared, is 49, minus 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. All over 2 times 2 makes 4. Okay, so I still have a uh, set of parentheses in there. So I want to um, get rid of those parentheses. So let's write it one more time. x equals negative 7 plus or minus the square root. And you know that a minus a negative is the same as adding a positive. So I'm going to write 49 plus 24 because you're adding the opposite all over 4. Now of course I still have an operation that I can perform here and that would be the plus that's inside the square root. So I'm going to add those two together. I have x equals negative 7 plus or minus the square root. Now I have to add 49 plus 24. So I add those up. 9 plus 4 is 13. Carry my 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. So inside the square root goes a 73. All over 4. Okay, now you want to double check and make sure that uh, the number inside the square root can't be simplified. And in this case, 73 is prime, 
Nothing can divide into it except for 1 in itself, so I can't simplify that. And 7, a negative 7 and a 4, they're also relatively prime, so I don't need to reduce that, which tells me that I'm at my final answer. Okay, actually my final answers, because there's two in there. One with a plus and one with a minus. So if I wanted to write both of my answers separately, I would have one get a plus, so negative 7 plus the square root of 73 over 4. And the other one gets the minus. So it's x equals negative 7 minus the square root of 73 over 4. And that would be both solutions. Solutions are also known as roots. And that's it. Thank you for watching.